Hi, I'm Shanif Ismail, professor in the Department of Occupational Therapy here at the University of Alberta. Today we're going to be talking to Sharon Bricknell, who, among many things, has been the president of the World Federation of Occupational Therapy. Thank you, Sharon, for taking the time to talk to us about occupational therapy and your history with the University of Alberta. Today we're going to focus in on the 80s. I was a student here during the 80s, and can you tell me a little bit about some of the significant milestones that were hit in the 80s? Occupational therapy was really very, very prominent. Uh, originally in the early 80s, uh, we began uh, looking at our bachelor's program. Uh, we implemented the program, which was accredited a as a model program in Canada. And I, we got that accolade because we had used a developmental uh, continuum to uh, design and to offer the program. And that was the first time that it had really been captured uh, in an accreditation. That also tied into a time nationally when we were working on the guidelines for um, client-centered practice in occupational therapy, or the yellow books. The yellow people, books, I remember The yellow them. books. At that time, uh, we were also looking at a major resource needs in, or capacity needs in Alberta. Uh, and rehab was gaining prominence, uh, and we couldn't fill the positions in occupational therapy, and we were losing them. We were losing them primarily in the psychiatry area to recreation graduates, uh, and in some of the areas in the physical domain to kinesiologists. And, and it was very obvious if we didn't do something about it, the demand was there that these positions would just disappear. So I came up with the idea of an accelerated program. We um, had always admitted students with degrees, and our program at that time was uh, two plus two. So you had to have two years uh, of university and then we admitted uh, you into the professional program. And that really uh, was very similar to the advanced uh, or the entry level masters that was available in the United States. I was one of the first groups of accelerated students.